Delighted to say we've been joined here at Live at Wimbledon by Petter Cech, the Arsenal goalkeeper. Petter, firstly, welcome. We know you've been watching that match uh, for Red Axe Stepanek, your, your close friend. Disappointment for him not able to win, but uh, what did you make of the match? Well, it was a, it was a tough draw for him and it, it's, it was a great game. Unfortunately for him, uh, his serve didn't work really well today and, and it made a difference in the end because uh, there were so many rallies and, and close calls where Kyrgios always came with a huge uh, hit and a huge point and, and uh, he, uh, he was always behind. So, but he did, he did so well because uh, you know, it was not easy for him always to be behind and, and coming back in every set, but um, unfortunately the end was not enough for him. Tell us about your friendship with Radek. How did you meet him? I've known him uh, for a long time now and, and every time uh, he plays or I play, we support each other. So I was supposed to go to, uh, to Italy for holidays, but I postponed it that I could see his uh, first game. Good friend. And what is it about your love of, of tennis? Why, why tennis? Well, I used to play it when I was a kid and uh, I really enjoyed it. And, and uh, I'm playing collective sports. So sometimes when you play tennis, you, you're on your own and you just depend on yourself. And, and it's, it's nice, it's a great challenge. And, and I used to, as I said, I, I played a lot of tennis as a kid, but uh, now I'm, I'm just a supporter. Some of the newspapers here in the UK, a picture that was you here last week, uh, dressed up in a ball boy's outfit. Uh, just explain to us what was happening there. Well, Radek had a practice was this game a bet with. Or anything, no, but he had a practice game with uh, with Lukas Rosol, and and uh, and I was here to watch the practice. And in the end, I I filled the role of a coach and a ball boy for that game. It was it was great experience for me because normally you cannot walk on the on the same court as the players. As a as a fan, you're always behind, and and you can you can get this you know completely different feeling when when you see the movement and, and the quality of the rallies, hits, shots, it this, this was brilliant. I suppose given your record for clean sheets, you don't like picking the ball out the net, do you? <laughs> well, <laughs> sorry, no, you know, it was a bit of a pressure, you know, you're standing behind and then you, everybody's watching if you can catch that ball. It's not, uh, it was not the best. Have you been able to hit a few balls with Radek on the grass? No, we uh, actually I had the racket with me, but uh, because it was a busy day, then uh, you know they they shared the court with the other two players, so there was not the there was no there was no time really to you know to mess around. They they got ready and and then they went over to the court number five to to have the practice game. Uh, and and since we last played against each other, has your tennis actually improved? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, I have I have to say that uh, it, it's probably the last time I played tennis was against you. <laughs> And I don't, I don't mention the score, but um, no, I had a sh shoulder surgery two years ago, and, and since then, I, I, you know, I didn't want to put too much pressure on the shoulder, so I haven't played much since. What about other footballers, players you played with at Arsenal, or perhaps Chelsea, or in the international team? Have you got any other players from football that play tennis as well? Well, actually, we have a group of players at Arsenal. They they play regularly, so uh, Kieran Gibson. And uh, Ox, they, they, they actually play uh, often. So I, I haven't seen them play yet, but uh, they, they really play regularly. They love it. A few more lessons with Anne, I suppose, and then you can, uh, no problem. Well, I, will, I will need that, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Might be a lost cause there, though. Eh? Well, I don't know. You know. I remember your volleys being quite sharp. Do you associate that? I mean, your hand eye coordination is pretty good, right? My problem is always the backhand. <laughs> you know, I can, I, I can slice the ball, but, uh, you know, the, I used to play. Uh, uh, double-handed, you know, and I, I kind of lost that. I don't know for some reason. I, it was my preferred shot, always the backhand. But suddenly, it, uh, as I, as I get old, then obviously it reversed. Well, Petter, thank you very much for joining us uh, here at Live at Wimbledon. We really appreciate your time here in the studio. Thank it you. A, it was a pleasure. Thank you.